Uh, we can go to the game. Okay, so, um, yep, so a couple of moves. Bishop c5 obviously was met instantly by Fabi. <laughs> uh, Bishop g3. <laughs> now this queen is running out of squares. Um, will he take on d4? Uh, uh, I guess he will. This looks sort of similar to... Oh, I think the line that they usually play is bishop e2, right? Instead uh, of c3. Ah, uh, okay, so in this position. I've seen a game with Sapkowski. Yeah, I, uh, I think black. this is what they do. Bishop c5, mm -hmm. bishop g3, then bishop d4. Ah, uh, okay. Rook d4, and you got to check on, on... I think here we go, rook d2 for some reason. Ah, uh, okay. And... Uh, Jump in. Oh, whoops. Me and my arrows. Oh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, white's coming in. Yeah, I think this is the line. Like castles, mm -hmm. uh, bishop d6. Okay. And uh, here, I think, like, usually goes knight c6. Yeah. Because I think moving the rook, then g4, g5. Wow. It's good for white. I I'm not sure about this, but I think this is the line. Mm hmm. I mean, this looks plausible, right? And uh, I've definitely seen this position before after knight c6. Um, and then white can take wow. it. Wow, has the, this really happened? Bishop c5, wow. okay. bishop g3, <laughs> queen d5. Bishops. Okay, bishop. it looks like we do have bishop c4 on the board. Um, what wow. is going on after queen c4? Um, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> Bishop D6. I mean, why does he be a little careful? He's just giving up everything. He's already given up three pawns, and here he is sacrificing a bishop and blitzing all this out. If this was rapid, I think black would be lost on time so just about wow. now. Well, I wouldn't say the next move is very difficult. Because <laughs> what what other what other choice do you have? You just have to bite the bullet and take that bishop, right? I would think so. Uh, unless after queen h5 you can make the argument that white has nothing better than bishop e2. I mean, that seems uh, seems weird. Seems very he weird. Takes the bishop, uh, he accepts it. Okay, he does. <laughs> he does call the bluff, and um, yeah, we should mention as well we're analyzing bishop without d6, engine, so it's, indeed. I mean, this is uh, a difficult one to get the hang of, but bishop d6 has been played instantly. What kind of preparation? This is beast level preparation by Fabi. He's a piece and three pawns down and... It better be preparation. <laughs> he does at least have a threat, I think. The threat is just bishop takes bishop. Uh, bishop takes c5 right now, but... Um, uh, this is the kind of preparation you need for for a game like this. <laughs> is this why you don't play the knight off uh, <laughs> poison pawn as so much as black anymore? Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I, as I said, usually... Usually black avoids these lines in, in yeah. classical chess. Um, wow. So uh, we we could still uh, we could still look at this very very differently. I have to I have to say let's say Maxim survives this, um, wins the game. Uh, but but yeah, judging from from right now, he's. Uh, He's not. He's not played this the best way. Um, if we take into account that um, a draw would would be excellent for him. Yeah, that's true. I mean, tournament-wise, a draw is a dream, right? Um, for Vasily Graf. So, um, okay. I'm I mean, Magnus, uh, Magnus, I'm